uncloaked for the first time. The FFA Cup, the ultimate prize for more than 600 clubs, big and small. It's been in the pipeline for a long time and uh, you know, we talk a lot about we are football. This is a we are football moment, I think, to, to unite all the football across the country. The race for the silverware has already begun in South Australia, Queensland and northern New South Wales. The aim of the game for the lower tier clubs is to qualify for the round of 32 starting in July, when the 10 A-League teams enter the frame. I'm sure there's a few grassroots clubs out there uh, looking to knock them off the perch at that time of the year. Paul Reid played in England's FA Cup with Brighton. He'll tackle the FFA Cup with Sydney's Rockdale City. If a, if a Sydney FC come to a Rockdale, the Linden Sports Centre to play on a Tuesday night, it might be wet, I don't think they'll fancy it. So that'll be a real leveller and, and I'm sure there are going to be some giant killers. It's literally a free ride, with the FFA paying for all travel expenses. It's really important to, to invest that money, especially for the, for the grassroots, you know, the, the amateur clubs. It's, you know, it really brings together the, the link between the grassroots clubs and, and the A-League clubs. Brett Emerton says some of his happiest footballing memories are from cup competitions he played in with Blackburn. The romance of a cup, it's, it's hard to describe, but um, I'm sure it'll have the same feel here in, here in this country. One lucky captain will hoist this trophy in triumph on the 16th of December.